Yeah, I haven't done a video in a while, but this is going to be different. Um, I know a lot of you are used to me doing uh, GW products, but as modelers and hobbyists and things like that, there's always those kits that make you go one day. And as I was a, as probably a few of you are, a massive fan. Not a massive fan, but I grew up watching the cartoon anime, both of them, and well, yeah. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've kind of got a love, a most recent love for uh, Gundams. I've got a couple up here, but you might not be able to see them. Um, and when I found out that they do. Zoid Kits, not Bandai, but another company that do the same style, but in Zoid Kits, I knew one day I'd have to get one, and I've been lucky enough to get my hands on one, um, and in fact, this was the last one, but still. So, this is going to be slightly different, because we're going to pop this open, go through what's inside the box. I've taken the plastic off already, but I actually haven't opened it. I'm really excited too. So this is the Blade, oh, not Blade Liger. Uh, this is the Liger Zero uh, in the Schneider um, armor from New Century, uh, which I think a lot more of us would have watched before the first Zoids. Um, so yeah, second iteration of the anime. Um, so yeah, this is the one with all the blades on it. Um, there's a couple of others and I plan on getting all of them if I ever get my hands on them. These are not current kits. These are um, older kits from a while back. Uh, in fact, if I find it on the box, I'll, I'll show you, but I had to get this actually in. Um, there's a company here who imports them. So link to them in the description, as you'll see, if you do want to check them out, uh, if you want to get some Zoids of your own. So cool, let's open the box. And here we go. All right, so I was saying before, these are not new kits. I think this these are done in like 2011. Um, they may still be making them, I'm not sure. There's no real, I couldn't really find a date anywhere on the box. Um, it's not a small box, it's actually quite thick. Um, just around the edges, we'll get a good look of how it all goes, some of the parts, um, the articulation, the water slide decals that it comes with. Um, there's some art on the side, and that's about it for that. Um, I have watched a couple of videos of this already before I decided to, um, get one, and everyone seems really impressed, and, um, apparently it's a bit more of a challenge than some of the Gundams that I've done, so I look forward to that. But here's the box. Um... All right, lots of screws and lots of little bags, as you can see, lots of different little colors, lots of orange, obviously, because it's a an orange armor suit. N no clue what any of that says, but thank you to Google Translator, built on my phone that can do that in real time. Um, so we got some red poly caps, uh, not poly caps, but some, those red caps that go on the side, um, some grey colours, black, looks like a bunch of inner frame stuff, and some off-white parts. Um, then we have, yeah, cool, blue-grey. Um, it's a different kind of grey and more blue-grey. Uh, metallic gold, these are actually kind of cool. It's actually a nice gold colour, I don't think I'd be able to... I could probably paint something close to that, but I'm not sure. Um, the other side just has more black and grey and that. Where are the instructions? Sorry, headphone users. Um, alright. Water slide decals, we can see here. 
Um, they look like fun. But I have been told that there's no real um, instructions for these anywhere. Okay. Zoid Pilot. Little Bit. Um, Bit is the character name. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the Clear Canopy and the Zoid Core. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. It's actually a core Zoid Core. That's awesome. Um, more gold, and then here we are for the instruction book. Um, for those of you who haven't done uh, Gundam kits or anything like this, these aren't in English. <laughs> um, I am trying to teach myself um, the Japanese that are in this. Um, I cannot remember the name of what it's called, but it's like the... I don't want to offend anyone here, but I think it's like the basic uh, form to make it a bit easier for, my, for us uh, foreigners <laughs> to kind of read it. Um, so yeah, so you go through what each... Oh, some of this is in English. It's different. So it goes through like what each individual part will tell you, like use glue is recommended, do it twice, that type of thing. Um, it goes through all the sprues, so what you should have and how many of them you should have. Um, and then usually with Gundam kits, like, it'll have little parts crossed out, so you know you're not going to use them uh, down the line. As you can see, let me just do more. And then it's instruction upon instructions. This is actually quite a thick, uh, thick-ish book. Um, I do like the fact that it's like a like a booklet, whereas Gundam is fold out like a newspaper kind of a thing, uh, which can get a bit annoying when you're trying to put it up on your desk. Um, but as you go through it, as you can see, it just tells you what to do, and then it moves on to the armor. And whenever I get stuck and it has like instructions, as you see there, I just bust out Google Translator and I try and teach myself that way. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Um, it shows you the articulation of what it can do. Did I miss a page or anything? No. Uh, some, just some drawings with, I'm guessing, probably a description of each part and what it's capable of doing and how it's a booster. Paint guide. So it actually goes through, um, I believe this is Mr. Uh, Mr. Hobby Colors. Um, and the combinations of their paint into which ratios and which ones to get to make each color. Now I could try and match these um, with my GW paints, but I don't believe I would be able to get that orange correctly. So I may not paint this at all. And given how much it was, I don't really feel like I should. Um, there it is again. And then, ah, uh, okay, so here we go with the water slide decal section, but again, that's the last page. So there's no actual guide to where they should go. So that's going to be a lot of fun to work out if I even use it. Um, I may have to try and look online to see. Uh, but there it is on the back, all painted up, as you can see. But I may just grab one of my... Um, my Gundam markers and just do the panel lines on this and leave it the color because this isn't a bad orange just needs to have its details pop out a little bit but then again who knows I may be able to find an, an orange color I like um, I'll leave that out front but yeah so that's it guys that's it's a lot of it's a lot of parts this is a lot more than any uh, Gundam I've ever done previously. Um, oops, sorry, got my arm all up in there. Um, but yes, just trying to figure out, I guess, how to do that orange will be uh, the tricky part. How to match that, because I could probably match every other colour. Um, that's not hard, or change it to be something I prefer. Like, 
instead of the like the really blue light gray just doing them completely silver if they're supposed to be blades but then again it's supposed to be based off an anime so you know gotta look a little bit people are gonna hate me this a little bit more cartoony but like if, if it was me that'd be light gray and then silver um as you can see like there and obviously i can do that white gold's not that hard these red parts wouldn't be hard to do and the dark gray and the black they're all easy for me it's this orange and trying to get that so yeah guys i know it's something different and i've been going on for a while now but yeah we'll make this a part one and then once i've got it all built i'll show you what that's like as a part two um if you guys prefer let me know in the comments if you want to see this when it's built and whether or not i painted it or not if you've got an idea how to do this orange too let me know because i would i'd really like some help on that one but i don't want to ruin this model either cheers guys catch you later